What led me to pursue my MFA was a passion to write that was, and until that point, unfulfilled. I wrote some poetry books and I dabbled in it, but I wasn't really all in. But I was like, I'm, I'm a writer um, and I want to tell some stories. I want to be an agent of change and through the written word is how I think I can do it. I decided on Stony Brook essentially by doing research. It was one of the few programs that didn't uh, pigeonhole a writer in a particular subject. And that was one of the things that, that really sold me. My current project is a creative, creative writing memoir. To give some background, my great grandmother, she came from Barbados to, to Brooklyn, you know, to have a life. Um, then she had a handful of children, one being my grandmother, and my grandmother had about five kids and my mom being the last one. What happened was um, my, my grandmother passed away two weeks after my mom was born. So <clears throat> my mom never got to know her mother and essentially we never got to know uh, much about our Caribbean um, ancestry. During my 10 months in Barbados, I hope to learn about the culture. I want to explore the archives and see what I can learn about my family. I want to go to the museums and see what life was like um, a couple of generations ago, see what the food's about, uh, really be a part of the community there as well. I'm able to pursue this project um, because I won the Fulbright grant. The Fulbright is a government award that's uh, issued for uh, scholars. One, you can go uh, abroad to teach English. Another, you can go abroad and uh, do research. And the third is being a, a cultural ambassador. I learned about the Fulbright, uh, at least initially, from uh, peers and friends. And then I went to the IREP office where I really got um, really involved to understand what potential it had to affect me in my career. My hope for what comes after the Fulbright is really to have um, this experience propel my writing career. Um, I went from one hand uh, not having this opportunity to now um, have an opportunity that few people get. Um, I'm excited about it and I can't wait to have um, these memories that I can pass on to uh, the family I hope to have one day. Mm -hmm.